Cipro tendonitis or quinolone uh, tendonitis. That's something I don't see very often, but I have seen some cases recently. Uh, quinolone, which is a family of antibiotics, uh, Cipro is the most common, usually given for some kind of bladder infection or sinus infection, and it can cause uh, inflammation in the ligaments. I might have a plantar fasciitis, which is pain in the bottom of the foot, uh, an Achilles plantar fasciitis, or just a tennis elbow or present like that. The last case I saw, she had a severe plantar fasciitis, which was treated with casts, boots, orthotics, even a radiation therapy, and nothing would help it. If you have this type of tendonitis, it may clear up in about a year of its own accord, but other cases go on to be more permanent. And what I found when examining these patients is they all have severe nutritional deficiency in not only the uh, tendon that's involved, the one that's hurting, but all of the, the joints, all the tendons, like the tennis elbow, Achilles tendon, even let's so say this one was plantar fasciitis, the Achilles were also bad, the tennis elbow was bad, shoulders were bad. So all of the ligaments have been depleted by these quinolone of essential nutrients. And you also may have fatigue with this. If that's the case, then you may also have some mitochondrial mitochondrial issues. So I'm going to deal with those a little bit separately because the mitochondrial issue requires a special supplement we have called ATP fuel, which is quite effective for dealing with that. And that's a long sort of fatigue that doesn't get better with exercise. Uh, in fact, exercise makes it worse and it's there all the time. If that's happened after taking one of these drugs, then you want to try ATP fuel to help reboost those mitochondria. Mitochondria are little organisms in each of our cells that make energy in the form of ATP. But to the ligaments, what we need to do is feed them. And we found several products that work and we found a bunch of products that don't work. So cefedrin is one that we've uh, recently started using. It's a, a sort of a fatty acid that's special and it works pretty well for reducing joint pain, it, not only from uh, Cipro and the quinolones, but for whatever cause. And the other one is Arthrobend. And that's a uh, medical food, actually, that's been shown to be effective in joint pain. And take fairly good doses of these, and you should see improvement fairly quickly. You know, in a few days, you should start to see the effect of these nutrients uh, reducing the tenderness of these ligaments. You have to be careful if you have this disorder, you really want to be careful about uh, stressing your Achilles, like jumping or doing quick starts or anything that could possibly rupture that because of that particular ligament which attaches to your heel ruptures, uh, it's very difficult to get it to repair. So if you're having this quinolone uh, tendonitis, give these things a try. A lot of the other things that, uh, that work, physical therapy and all those things, seem to be fairly ineffective until you address the nutritional deficiency. Mm -hmm.